If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to use strategy cards and how to use abilities in Madden 22, guys. I like to make these generic, basic videos on how to do very simple things that can be very confusing at times for people early in the year and then throughout the year you can always just click back on this video and refresh. I remember when I first started Madden like a few years ago, like really getting deep into Ultimate Team. I always played. But when I want to get deep and like try to have the best team, I remember I'd go back to like this one video from like months ago and keep rewatching it so I can understand certain chemistry stuff. So I feel like this is a good video to always have on the channel as like a reference point where you can come back to. Now, before we get into the video and go through everything, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad shout out, all you got to do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Uh, today's Poodle Squad shout out goes out to Flav R Ravioli. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Let's get into this. So, let's start off with the abilities. Let's start there. I feel like that's a good point to start at. So, guys, abilities cost trading, first and foremost. So if you, if you want to get involved with abilities and power-ups and everything, cost trading. Now, certain players can get abilities without being powered up. Certain players cannot. That is going to be the case. You will notice that Brandon Marshall and these legends can get abilities without being powered up. LTDs always can as well being above 90 overall um saquon barkley we're going to be working on him today he's my powered up player typically i recommend powering up players if you're going to be putting abilities and doing stuff on them anyways now quick tip for all you guys who wonder if it costs a lot yes training costs a lot it's going to be expensive but you can refund it if you check here there is a refund option so let's say if you see here it says total refund how much you'd get back on the whole thing if you refunded all the way back you would get 532 for saquon and the whole thing costed me probably around 800 uh, about a thousand 800 something like that I don't, I don't exactly remember the total thing uh close to i'd say about a thousand yeah so the way it works is simple when you power up a player you have to put training points in which is the purple thing in the corners you guys can probably see up there which just went away for a second when you when you use the training it will go away into the player right now if you go ahead and refund it you do get a, a percentage back so don't think you're losing it all yes it does suck because you still have to go buy it all and then you're stuck with it but you can refund it back for players you don't like so the way you put abilities and x-factors on is after you power them up you come up to you come over to upgrades and you go down right here this plus signs right here are here now there's a chance that these will be locked if you're wondering why they're locked that does mean that you have to go above here to this section and upgrade them you will see here it says add training to unlock the x-factor ability slot and you're going to have to do any ones that say add uh, add anything to add ability slots or add any of these to unlock chemistry slots that is what's going to unlock it now if the player is fully powered up, it should all be unlocked more than likely. So here it is. So the first big plus sign is going to be the X factor. That is going to be right here now. These are the, the X factors. You can read through them. They're pretty self-explanatory. Some of them work. Some of them don't work the way you think. Sometimes they're red. So I'd recommend you, you look up some videos based on specific abilities and see what you can find regarding that. This video isn't exact. I'm not going to go through every one because that will take forever. But just for a reference, freight train is typically the most popular one. That's 500 training. You put that on. I don't have enough training at this moment in time. But you craft ability right there, you put it on. So that'll go into there. Next, there is ability slot one, two, and three if they're high enough overall. Now, here's the thing ability slot three is going to contain their best abilities. Ability slot two will be their second best, and the, their third will be their third best slash worst, right? Now, you want to be a little strategic when putting abilities on because sometimes they'll get abilities in two slots, but not one. So, for instance, right, evasive. Evasive is jukebox and spin uh, spin cycle in one. So instead of going here and trying to put, let's say, spin cycle on here for 1250 and then going to put jukebox in the third slot, instead you could just buy evasive and it will be a two for one. That is one way to do that. Second, right? Let's say you want a you really want evasive, but you also want energizer, right? That that or balance beam. But then you come to ability slot two, and if you didn't check, you can get balance beam here. So what people do sometimes is they go they go quickly and they're like, okay. I want balance beam. Okay, craft ability done. And okay, then I want evasive. Then they're like, wait, where would evasive go? Why is evasive locked? In in tier two ability slots, you cannot get evasive right now. He needs 96 overall. You can only get it in tier three. So make sure that you do plan your abilities out first because then guess what? Now you got to refund balance beam. Yes, you get a refund, but it's not going to be a full refund. So you're going to lose some training. And right now, training is expensive. That any lost training still costs a good amount of coins. So I like to go through first. My, okay, what's the best ability I want in my Saquon? It's evasive. Second one. Okay. Maybe I want balance beam or I want backfield master. Okay. Can he get backfield master here? No, he cannot. So now you have to decide, do you want backfield master or evasive? Because he can only get one right now. I go with evasive, right? So evasive is what I'm going to take. That's mine. So then I go to the second one. Okay. I want balance beam still. Okay. He gets it there. Does he get it in the first slot though? No, he does not. 
But then you say, okay, I want Energizer and Balance Beam. So you go here, it's like, okay, I'm gonna put Energizer on him. So you put that on him. Then you go back to the one slot. Where's Balance Beam? It's locked. So you gotta reverse it. You wanna go Balance, you wanna go Energizer in the first slot, Balance Beam in the second slot, and then you wanna go Evasive in the third spot. That is the only combination where you'll be able to get all three of those abilities. So make sure you guys do pay attention to stuff like that. Now that's how you do that. That's all that. And then as far as chemistries and secondary positions, it'll be in under here. Uh, New York Giants right there. And then you can change the arts as well. That's how to that's how to use abilities. That's how to do all that. And of course, there is AP, which is every ability has an AP point percentage. And you go into your lineup, you can have a maximum of 12 right now. So make sure you do that accordingly. That's that for that. Now let's get to the strategy card items. I know people are probably more confused about that. Strategy card items, as you guys look here, these car these are new cards to the game that they got introduced. They're very similar to chemistries you used to have in terms of how they upgrade your team, but they are a little bit more different, a little bit more interesting. So let's cover some basics here, guys. Pretty much you want blues. That is it. You don't want greens. You don't want you don't want silvers. Now, they're called common, uncommon rares. Now, here's the thing. Don't think you can't use them, but don't think you need to save them. So I'm under the I'm under the impression right now that I want to keep exchanging my blues for to try to get speed ones. In the meantime, I've been using these blues, but I use the greens and grays as well, depending on what I need for that specific thing. If it's a gameplay, this the the goal in the the goal in the game is to get to all blues. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna to want to trade up your your uncommons for uncommons, your uncommons for blues, and move your way up. Don't don't think you have to store 100 of these. At the end of the day, you can only use a total of four. So if you have 30 commons, trade them in. Get better ones. Get better uncommons. Now, if you guys look at the, at the cards, right? The common ones have three ability boosts. So on this one specifically, uh, short tackler has tackle, awareness, and pursuit. Uncommons have four. The face came out of the way, so you guys can see things properly. So. If you guys can see, some of them have highlighted white stuff, uh, white stats on their cards. So the commons do not, the uncommons do, and the rares do. So if you see here, the tackles highlighted, hit power, and impact block are highlighted, guys. The white highlighted ones are the ones that are going to come on the card for free. So what I mean by that is to get all the stats that this card includes, you have to power them up with training. But the ones that are highlighted in bold white are the ones that automatically come for free. So those card, those will have those stats built in. So if you click on this card right here, sure tackle, and you go to upgrades, you will see that the first tier is unlocked that comes with hit power and impact blocking now if you want to know the order of which you upgrade them it goes in order so the first tier will unlock tackling the second tier will unlock awareness then you will unlock pursuit then you will unlock tackle again so typically you get the on a blue card you get the first card you get the first stat twice so remember that on the rare card you get that first stat twice so again at the end you get tackle again so if you like, if you want a certain stat multiple times, make sure it's the first one. And of course, the white ones are the ones repeated. Now, quick thing, people are gonna ask, can you double up? You can double up boost as long as they're not in the, as long as they're not the same exact uh, spot. So, and it can't be the same card. So if you use short tackler and then another one that's called secure tackler, and their highlighted white ones are different, you can you can reuse them. That's pretty much how that works. So moving on, the way you get them upgraded, you go here. You 150, 350, 400. You upgrade all the way. When you upgrade all the way, you will unlock all of these spots here, which will get you tier one through three or four as well as the free highlighted white ones that do come with the car which is the hit power impact blocking so that's how you go ahead and do that now you guys wonder their speed boost ones yes there are i do not currently have one to get i will be making another video going over how to get those but strategy cards are pretty simple once you get the hang of them pretty much guys like i said comments you just trade them in on commons are decent but you want to be looking for the rares the rares come with two free abilities on them automatically which means if you don't have no training you can always just put them on for now rock with those two free ones i also have heavy hitter right here which is block shed in pursuit hit power is going to be the first stat there that i will be getting twice so that's pretty cool if you guys want to upgrade hit power so heavy hitter is not a bad one but again click on them you go to upgrades it's very simple to do you upgrade all the way if you want all of them and if not if you only want the hit power just upgrade the first one unlock the hit power spot if you go through you see you get hit power twice so the first stat you do get twice the white ones you get automatically off the rip right here pursuit and block shed just active instantly so make sure you guys do understand that and the rest does come with going ahead and actually upgrading the card with training so overall guys strategy card items are pretty simple once you get the hang of it i, I, I have a separate video coming out over how to do everything on them this video is just showing you how to upgrade them and kind of how they work strategy card items are pretty simple again there's some cool ones like the speed and space like i'm gonna end up keeping because this is a plus one speed to my superstar mvp players which i do have saquon barkley and by the way if people are wondering yes if you power them up they still do work which is really cool because i mean saquon gets the plus one for the power up and then the plus one for speed and space which is meta 90 overall 90 overall speed sorry and then there's some legend ones that work just for legend cards and so on and so forth i mean it's gonna be pretty cool i imagine we'll, we'll go above rare at some point in the year and get even better ones maybe legendary maybe epic maybe super i don't really know but these are really cool uh, again some of them will only work for certain positions so make sure you do read that here it says all positions on defense this one says all positions on offense 
then there will be some that probably say there's some that say only for running backs only for wide receivers if you look here bull rush is only defensive and defensive tackle outside linebackers this is only for old linemen this is only for cornerbacks so make sure you guys do pay attention to all that so you make sure you know what you're doing as you go through it now guys that pretty much is it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you guys need coins head over to mutt reserve down below if you guys have any questions like i said dm me on twitter or hit me up on here in the comment section thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace